Okay, kind of in a mad rush here. I've got to get 20 acres of corn off yet today before the end of the day because I got to, they're going to be putting solar panels in on a farm. So I have to do that. But I got an issue with my auger here for the grain bin. That's been driving me absolutely bonkers the last couple of months. And you can probably see it. She ain't straight. Well, with a, when I bought this auger, they had a nice little cutout here. A piece of steel would slide over the top of it. And if I needed to empty the bin from the midsection, you would just open that up. Well, it crushed. So I have to cut that thing out, take this off of there, and uh, actually do away with this particular part here. And I need to shorten the auger to the point where I can butt them together and weld them up nice and strong. So that's what I'm doing now. I got still have corn in the bin because, well, and I have to fix that shitty hole there. And I have to build a door because I had to bust that one in when this auger broke out. I had to bust that door in. Uh, I have a wooden one that I made there. So I'm going to make another one of those with a hole in it. I'm going to add another auger for the midsection of this thing. So this auger is going to go back into the hole that it originally came out of. I got a secondary auger that I'm going to put onto an angle off to the side. So I'm going to be unloading in a V pattern. And uh, then I'll put, a, uh, I'll put a sweep in there at some other point in time. So that's what I'm up to today is repairing that bin. I have wagon loads of corn here that need to go. I'm going to be repairing this. I got it out of here just a little bit ago. Real simple. I've got to pull the auger and everything else. So I'm going to be welding and cutting here in a minute. All right, here we go. All right, I got Tim cutting the, uh, cutting that tube there. We got to take 32 inches off because I got to remarry these two pieces of auger together. I got to fix this. I got to cut it about there. Um, so we're going to re-weld that all back together. Um, there's a, there's a, you know, I did that. I think it'll be strong enough. What I'm going to do is just run a little bit of a deal weld around both holes. So he's cutting that tube. Uh, I'm going to get the welder going. And uh, we'll put her back together again. And just twist it off. Okay. And Tim's putting the splice together. There. That'll marry those two tubes together. Those are the good ones. They gave us a piece of shit one that I... There it is. He, they gave us hose clamps to put that thing on with. Well, hose clamps on a big old auger like this is ridiculous. So I had that old splice there from a Mayrath auger. And that seems like it's going to work. So what I'm going to do is... Keep working, Tim. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm sticking this piece of pipe in here because I had these holes. These holes here, and they're just going to weaken the shaft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I got that pipe in there, I'm going to weld it fast. There and there. And that'll, that'll strengthen, that'll strengthen the, the pipe there. So I should be okay on that one. And then of course I'll, then I'll weld that one there on the inside of this okay, one. Okay, I got them welded up. Uh, so those holes are no longer there. Which makes things a lot nicer, because when I put that together it'll be strong in the, splice. I'm going to splice down here. Now this is welded, this is cut, broke off a little crooked there so it'll give me a chance to really get in there and get a good bite on that. I'm going to have it just slightly away from it so it'll it'll make it stronger. Alright, there it is all welded up. Ah, new welds there. Beautiful. So that should be strong enough to hold uh, I got a little spot there I need to hit. It's going to fracture if I don't. But yeah, that ought to hold it. Nice new tube. Tube should be good and straight. And uh, we should be good to go. Okay, I just made a mounting plate here. I have an old wheel rake wheel center. Um, so I'm not going to weld it fast just yet, if I even weld it at all. Because it's kind of, I got it tight enough that it could be a pinch type thing. When I bolt it in, it could be a pincher. Uh, I probably, I might just, uh, I might just tack it at a, in a future date with the, uh, I'll braise it fast once I get it up in there. So I just need to uh, reset this thing now. Tim's got it all back together again if he gets off his ass because he's got heart and ass disease again. Yeah. What? Shut up? Did you tell me to shut up? Tell your dad to shut up? That's not smart. 
But anyways, uh, he's got that bolted fast in the right position. Uh, what we're going to do is put this auger, we're not going to slide it in, but we are going to make sure it's the right length before we get too far ahead of ourselves here by sliding that. I got to slide this pipe in into the bin first, into the grain, and then we'll slide the auger on down in there. And we should be good to go, right Tim? Yeah, okay.